Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video, we learned about how to create the author archive page and show the images and default images, etc. In this video, we're going to learn about how to create a date archive page. And this time, instead of using a standard pagination, we'll do some customization with the pagination. Okay, so let's begin. Well, the first update we're going to do is we'll go to our Aquila posted on function and we are going to make sure that we put the year. So get the date format Y is going to get us the year. This is going to give, get us, give us the month. This will give us the date. And then we are going to create the post date archive permalink using get day link. And we're going to pass the year, month and day. So this is these are all WordPress function. This is going to generate the permalink for the date archive for the post. And at the bottom over here, we are going to ensure that we use this permalink so that uh, the data archive link is outputted. Okay. So now if you go to the front end where we have this home page and we have all of the posts listed down, if you hover over it, notice at the left bottom corner of the screen, the URL is actually year, month and date. And if you hit on it, then we expect it to go on to the data archive page. So how do we do that? So what we're trying to achieve is that when you click on it, notice that it takes you to that date archive. Uh, we want to have the date. We want to list down all of the posts that were created on this date. And as you can see, the dates are the same for all of these. And then we also want to have a pagination. But this time, we want to achieve something like this, wherein it says showing 1 to 9 of 75. So it, gen it displays the total number of pages. Uh, it gives you this pagination along with the next and priv and then it also allows you to go directly on the last page because in case if there are a lot of posts that have been created uh, for that particular date or the month or year etc then we would like the user to have the ability to go to the last page so you can click on that it takes you to the last page you can see that it has added the page slash nine on that and it's on the last page. And now first page is also visible because you're on the last page. So you can go on to the first page. And it's saying 73 to 75 of 75. So since there are three posts on the last page, that's why it's saying 73 to 75. You go on to the eighth page, you'll notice it'll say 64 to 72 of 75. So I think it's generating nine posts. Yep, because remember from the previous video, we said nine posts basically. Okay, so that's what we're trying to achieve. So let's see how we can do that. So if you look at the template hierarchy, you'll notice that um, in order for us to create a custom data archive page, we need to use date.php. Otherwise, we're going to use our own archive.php in case if you have any. So in our case, we do have an archive.php, but we want to handle the date archive page differently. We want to have a different pagination as well on that. So for that, we'll use date.php. So as you can see, I've created date.php over here inside of the root directory of our theme and i'm going to paste the code snippet and i'm going to explain to you what that means okay so let's go from top so first of all this time we'll use wp query so wp query will be available uh, onto the data archive page automatically and uh, if you print it you'll see what you get on that i'll do return null so it doesn't do anything after that let's go back and refresh there you go, you have the WP query, you've got the year, month, date, all of that information, right? And it'll contain the post information as well, like what all posts are available. So I'm gonna remove that. Then initially we'll set the date to empty and we'll get the date permalink. We'll get the home URL basically. And initially we'll set to the home URL. What we're trying to achieve is that we wanna create the first and the last page URL and we want to generate that dynamically. Dynamically. Now for our pagination, we want to generate the links for the first, last pages um, and the permalinks, etc. dynamically. That's why we're going to use this. So in case if the user is on ear page, so let's say the user is on this page, okay, ear page. So now notice what happens. We will be able to get the date with this format. So that'll give us the date. Then in order for us to generate the permalink, we'll use sprintf and we'll pass on 
the date permalink, which is basically the home URL and slash will get the year from the query var. So get query var is going to go and grab the year from here. So notice what happens. I'll show you. So I'm going to say pre and then return null. So if I go to the year, notice I have ear over here, right? So that's what it's going to do. It's going to grab that ear for us and it's going to generate that permalink. So basically it's going to get the home perm home link, which is the URL, this URL, and then it's going to add the year, which is 2021. So that's what you will hold in the date permalink for this page. Okay. <clears throat> And trailing slash should basically appends a trailing slash. So it remove any forward and backslashes if it exists already before adding a trailing slash forward. So, okay, so that's what trailing slash should is used for. And that is actually a WordPress function. Okay. Next up, if you are on the monthly archive, then the permalink will be slightly different because it needs to have the month as well, right? So what was it? Uh, let's say September. So now you have the month number also available. So notice I'm putting month num over here. I'm getting year. So I'm getting these two values from the get query var. And I'm able to get these two values. I'm going to append that to the URL, which is this, and then generate our perl permalinks. Okay. So we need these for pagination. Let's move on. In case if you are on the daily archive which is the date archive so it's going to be 30 so now you have all three available so you're going to grab that from the query war i'm going to append that to the home url okay so that's how you generate the permalink depending on which type of archive you are on whether you're on daily monthly or yearly archive page okay then uh, from the query war we're also going to get the information of the paged okay so once you're on the pagination you will have this paged value available right now you can see that it's zero but when you are on a different page, let's say page two, page three, etc., then you're going to get that value. So if the paged value is not available, then set that to one because consider that you're on the first page. The first page URL is always going to be whatever this root URL is, whether it's monthly, daily, or yearly. That's where the URL is going to be. So that's what we have got over here, you know, the date permalink. So depending on which one you are on, you're going to get that value as the first page URL. The last page URL is going to be this this permalink plus the maximum pages. So WQuery has something called maximum pages, which means how many pages are available for the post. So let's say you have like 10 posts per page. Okay. And there are 12 posts available. So how many pages will that be? That'll be two page, right? Because First page is going to show 10 posts and second page is going to show two posts. So that's two pages. Okay. So let's take a look. So max some pages, you can see that nine, there are nine pages available. Okay. And how many posts are there? There are 75 posts. And because our post per page is nine, remember we said that in the archive functions, right? I'm going to show that to you quickly. Archive post per page. We said that and then we modified that uh, using WordPress hooks. So that's, that's the nine. So, 9 multiplied by 9. So 9 into 8. So 9 into 8 is 72. So 8 pages will render 72 posts. And the last page, which is the ninth page, will render the 3 posts. That's how it works. Okay, let's move on. So that will be your last page URL. And I'm going to show you that in a moment. Let's remove that. Refresh. And so take a look at the last page. So that's your last page. Take, take a look at the URL. It says slash page slash line. So you see that's what we have here. We've added whatever that URL was slash page. Whatever that URL was, the date permalink, which is this one basically. This URL. Okay. And then it will already have a trailing slash. So we're not adding that. And then page. So this is page. And then the maximum pages. So there are nine pages. So that's why we have nine. Uh, go to the second one and now we have the first page available so what will be the first page well first page will always point to the root one okay which does not contain any pages so that's why we have that okay <music>